What's up guys, GD here and welcome back to the channel once again. So in my opinion, the Axis X2 has a lot of hidden features and hidden gems as I love to call them. And some of these are really underrated and often get overlooked in our day-to-day -day playing and bypass modes happen to be one of them. For the longest time, I've been trying to understand what they mean and I've been overlooking them as probably most of us have been. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you what bypass modes exactly are and what they do to your preset and to your signal chain and how different settings in the bypass modes can create different sort of things for you as well. So let's jump into the axe edit, but before we do that, in case you want to support me what I do on this channel, the subscribe button is the easiest way to do that. But in case you're feeling a little bit more generous and you want to send something my way monetarily, check the links in the description box below for my PayPal and you can send me something over. There is no minimum amount. You can send me whatever you like. And in return, I'll give you a shout out in my upcoming videos and also be very thankful as well. <laughs> With that said, let's jump into the Axe Edit and let's see what the bypass modes really are. All right, so I've got Axe Edit in front of me and pretty much we've got a simple preset in there. We've got a compressor, we've got an amp. I'll just go through them quickly. It's not very fancy. It's got a compressor, it's got a US rhythm. Uh, it's got a cab in there, enhanced block. None of this really matters. What really matters are these last two blocks over here, which we're gonna cover in detail in this video. Now, every block, has pretty much got a bypass mode. So if you go into the compressor, you will see the bypass mode over here. It's usually located over here for all of the blocks. Now, different blocks have different bypass modes, like in the amp, for example, you will just have two options. You will have mute or through. I'll cover these in detail when I go to the you know, FX blocks. But the bypass mode makes a lot of sense when it comes to the FX blocks, like the delay, the reverb, etc. So for example, the cab will also have something very simple, but when it comes to the delay, for example, you will have much more options in there. And in this video, I'm gonna be covering in detail what exactly each of those options mean. So let's first hear the preset, how it sounds. It's a very simple, clean tone. sweet sounding preset. I've put in a lot of reverb in there so that you can clearly understand what I'm trying to explain. So the reverb is pretty high. There's a long tail there. Pretty much something which is over exaggerated. You would not use so much reverb in your day-to-day -day life but for the sake of this video it makes a lot of sense to have a lot of delay and a lot of reverb as well. So let's switch on the delay for example right. So let's hear how the delay sounds like. There's a lot of delay in there and, and and that's intentional. Pretty much something you'd not have in a regular preset. Maybe you can actually. Sounds really sweet. But what we're gonna cover is the bypass mode. So what exactly are the different bypass modes? The most common one you're gonna see is through and I'm gonna touch upon that in the very end. Let's cover the more complicated ones first. So do you see these four options over here? Uh, mute FX in, mute FX out, mute in and mute out. I'll come to the mute FX one a little bit later. Let's look at the mute in and mute out. So let's select mute in. What does that do? Pretty much nothing, right? But why doesn't it do anything? Because you have to bypass the block to see it in action. Now keep in mind that bypass modes only work within a preset. So it's as obvious as the name as the name. So it's you when you bypass a block, that's when it's gonna work. So if you change your preset, you're pretty much reinitializing your signal chain and the bypass mode doesn't make any sense over there. It's very helpful when you're jumping between scenes or disabling or enabling a particular block using your you know keyboard or using your foot controller or using your mind. <laughs> no, not that way. But yeah, so Remember that when you learn and use bypass modes, they only work with a block when you are bypassing it in a specific preset or in a scene, not across presets, right? So mute in. Now, what does it mute in mean? When the block is bypassed, its inputs are disconnected, silencing the dry immediately, but allowing the existing effect tails to ring. New signals are prevented from entering the effect until it is re-engaged. So in layman term, what happens is that it 
you know, disconnects all the inputs that are coming into the block the moment the block is bypassed. But the tail of the delay or the reverb or whatever the effect is, in case they, in this case it's the delay, you will hear the tail of the delay, but the input will further be disconnected and no longer input will go into the in the, into the actual block and the, the block will be muted basically. So when I come back to the AxeFX2 and I'm gonna play a note and then I'm gonna bypass it and you'll hear the tail of the delay still ring out. Now you heard that, you heard that the delay did continue even when the block was bypassed. But now, this is the interesting part, since I chose mute in, now that input is muted in. That means that my signal chain is not going anywhere beyond this block. So what that does is now, it literally mutes my signal chain. And even though the reverb block is on, the signal is not going there because I have said mute in and that means regardless of what mute in or mute out I select. Mute means it's gonna mute that block and no further signal is gonna go beyond that block. Now, you might ask why is this gonna be helpful, right? But think of it this way. If you had multiple outputs going from the signal chain, what you can actually do is by muting a specific block in a signal chain, you can significantly block and mute all of that signal chain, all of that branch rather. So if I had a branch going like this, I could mute one block over here and it would mute all the other blocks. It would mute that entire branch, which is really helpful because now I don't have to go and mute every block and it also doesn't affect my levels. So it's really, really good in that way because it helps me to just perform multiple actions using just one action. Hope that's clear. Let's try out mute out. Now what mute out does as per the aspects to manual, when the block is bypassed, it inputs, its inputs remain connected, but the outputs are muted. With this setting, effect tails are silenced when the signal block is bypassed, but signals can still re-enter before it is switched on. So, a little different. What it's going to do in short and in layman terms, what you need to know is when I select mute out, my delay tails are going to get cut immediately, right? So if I play something, you heard that, right? So it immediately got disconnected and the delay tails did not follow. Whereas in the previous case, the delay tails did follow through because I selected mute in. But the same situation applies now after the block has been bypassed, the signal chain is entirely muted beyond the delay block. So beyond the delay block, I'm not able to have any signal going to the reverb. So that's really interesting to know how mute in and mute out works, but when it comes to mute FX in and mute FX out, it's slightly different. So let's go into mute FX in and let's read what the manual says. Mute FX in, when the block is bypassed, the inputs to its internal effects processor are disconnected. This allows effect tails to ring and leaves the dry unaffected when the block is bypassed. The dry is completely unchanged, level and balance still remain intact and in effect. Now this is really interesting. What this does now is that, let's turn on the delay block. It's saying that it's gonna obviously disconnect and you know remove the delay from the signal chain, but now it's not going to block the signal chain as mute in did. Now it's gonna still allow the signal chain to go through, but with mute FX in, the interesting part is that you will still hear the tails of the delay go through after you've disabled the block. So let's hear something. Now you can hear that the delay did ring through all the way, even though the block is bypassed. But now the magic is that even though the block is bypassed and it's set to mute effects in, my signal chain is still growing through to the reverb. So you can clearly hear the reverb is still there even though the delay block has been bypassed and it's not part of the signal chain. Mm -hmm. Now, that's pretty, pretty nice. What real life scenario would you use it in? Now, let's say you have a couple of scenes in the preset, you've got a rhythm scene and then you've got a solo scene and obviously in the solo scene or in the lead section, you want to have your delay turned on. But to, when you come back from the solo section to the, you know, 
uh, rhythm section, you want a smooth sort of a seamless transition, right? So that's where Mute FX in could really help when you jump from scene two, which had delay block on, to scene one, which de has delay block bypassed, you wanna set it to mute FX in. What's that gonna do is that it'll still ring out the tails of the reverb of the delay. So it will not look like it's suddenly chopped off your solo and you suddenly started playing a rhythm, a rhythm preset. The last one in the mute series is the mute FX out. Now this is pretty much similar to mute out, the only difference is that the delay block will bypass, but the delay tails will no longer continue. It'll immediately cut them out. So here's the delay on. And as soon as the delay went off, you could hear that the tails were chopped off straight away, but you could still hear the reverb go through. That means your signal chain is intact your delay block is bypassed, but the reverb is still there, which is after the delay, technically, in the mute, mute in and mute out, when you heard previously, the reverb block was getting blocked off and the entire signal chain was just getting, you know, blocked beyond the delay block. Here's the most simplest one, and you might ask, why didn't you cover this in the very start? If it's the simplest, through. The reason is through is very different from what mute in and mute out do. Through pretty much means that it's gonna pretty much behave as mute FX in, but the trick is it's gonna definitely remove all the other things that your uh, block is bringing. Now, in this case, I'm gonna use it with the reverb. So you've got the reverb here. Pretty good reverb. Let's set it to really high, right? So obviously that's gonna impact my level of the preset, right? So as you can see, my overall level of the preset has gone down. If I bring it down here, the reverb has come down, but the preset has become a little louder. That's obviously gonna happen because I'm increasing the mix of the reverb and that's causing my overall volume to drop a little bit because there's a lot of reverb now. But when I bypass this, and if it's in mute FX in, for example, you can hear that the reverb is not cut off, but the level of the preset still remains the same, which is really wonderful. But here what happens when I change it to through. I'm in through, the reverb is on. You can hear the preset level is low. Let's bypass it. Now hear it. You hear the river, the preset level has gone up. So what through typically does, it removes all the properties. Obviously it bypasses the block, so none of this really matters, but whatever you've got set over here is also getting bypassed. So the mix is being ignored now, the level is being ignored, and the balance is also being ignored. So through works really well in that scenario, but I'd rather, if you ask me, I'd rather keep it to mute FX in because now I don't have to worry about managing levels and I don't have to worry about, you know, different scenes and different levels. It gets really tricky. But with through, you got to keep that in mind that when you bypass it, your level's going to jump because it's pretty much removing the mix and the level and the balance of that particular block. So that's the key difference between mute FX in and mute FX out and, you know, the through sort of parameters. Uh, those are pretty much all of the different types that you have for the bypass mode. A uh, very handy thing to have, uh, especially when you're working across scenes and it really helps in getting the right sort of effect chain, in my opinion. You can play around with different things. Pretty much all of the blocks have this bypass mode in there and you can play around with them to have different scenarios created for yourself across scenes. And I find it really handy at times as well when I'm jumping between you know, scenes specifically and I want a smoother transition. So let me know in, in the comments if I missed something or if you think you had a different scenario in mind and you would think that the bypass mode did help you there uh, you know, to dial in that sort of a scenario as well. So pretty interesting, um, I would say feature um, or a mini feature in the aspects too makes uh, makes life a little easier when you understand what those different things mean i've been ignoring it for a long time but i finally took the time to understand it properly did have it at the back of my mind somewhere and i'm sure i'm gonna forget like a few weeks down the line but 
yeah make sure you come back to the video reference it again and hopefully this video has been helpful to you let me know in the comments what more mini features you'd like me to cover which are small but they are hidden gems in the xfx2 as always make sure you give this video a like and in case you aren't subscribed that's the least you can do to support me if you can't send me anything else if you can't even subscribe make sure you at least give the video a like and until i see you guys in the next video make sure you guys stay safe keep rocking guys cheers bye bye